Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SQL Server, performance monitoring and tuning video brought to you by SQLWorkshops.com. In this video, we will take a look at SQL Server cost-based optimizer. When SQL Server has a choice of plans, it will compare cost between a set of execution plans and will choose the cheapest one. Let's look at an example. To follow this example along with me, you need the SQL test tool. To get the SQL test tool, you can go to the website sqltest.org and click on download. There you will find a link to install SQL test. Once you have the SQL test tool installed, you can click on file, open online examples. There you will find the example SQL test underscore seek or scan. Let's press OK to open this example. In this example, we are creating two tables. Table tab 72 has three columns. Column one integer primary key clustered. Column two is also integer. Column three is character 2000. We are creating an index on column C2. We are inserting 20,000 rows into this table. Column C1 and C2 will have values from one until 20,000. We are creating table tab 73 here. This table also has the same three columns. It also has an index on column C2, IX underscore C2. We are inserting again 20,000 rows. In this table, column C1 will have values between one and 20,000, but column C2 will have value one for 19,900 rows. For 100 rows, it will have value two. Let's press OK. To create these tables, you can click on workload four and you can click on start current. The tables have been created. Now you can click on settings and comments and copy these statements into one of our management studio windows. Let's look at what is in this table tab 72. There you see column one is increasing and column two is increasing. It will go from one until 20,000. Let's execute this query. Let's add the execution plan on and let's execute this query. Select from tab 72 where C2 between 1 and 10. If you look at the execution plan, SQL Server does the index seek and if you look at the seek predicate, it is C2 greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 10. And it gets 10 locators and it looks up on the clustered index level 10 times to get the value of C3. If you want to look at the amount of IOs, you can execute set statistics IO on. Let's execute the statement with predicate C2 between 1 and 1. If we want to calculate the amount of IOs, we need to know the depth of these indexes. Let's execute the statement on physical stats to find the depth of these indexes. The clustered index has a depth of 3 and the non-clustered index has a depth of 2. Let's execute this statement. Let's look at the execution plan, index seek. Seek predicate between 1 and 1. SQL Server goes to the index, takes the locator, and then it will look up at the clustered index level. To calculate the amount of IOs, let's go to the documentation on non-clustered index structures. Like in this page, we also have a depth of two, a root page, a bunch of leaf pages. So what SQL Server will do is it will do one IO at the root level and it will do one IO at the leaf level to find the locator for C2 equal to one. And then it will go to the clustered index. Let's look at the clustered index structures. Like in this example, our clustered index has a depth of three root page, a bunch of intermediate pages, and a bunch of leaf pages. For looking up, SQL Server will do three IOs, one at the root page level, one at the intermediate page level, and one at the leaf page level. So here it will do two IOs in the non-clustered index level and three IOs at the clustered index level. So when you execute the query, and then when you look at the messages, 
you will see SQL Server doing five logical reads, two IOs at the non-cluster index level and three IOs at the clustered index level. If we have C2 between one and two, and then we execute this query, look at the execution plan index seek, seek predicate between one and two. What SQL Server will do is it will go to the non-clustered index root level there will be one IO and at the leaf level it will do one IO and it will find the locators for C2, 1 and 2. Since our index key is very narrow, these two keys will fit in the same page. So there will be two IOs at the non-cluster index level and with this locator, which is the cluster index key, it will look at the cluster index two times. First time three IOs and second time three IOs. So six IOs at the clustered index level and two IOs at the non-clustered index level. So when you look at the messages, there will be eight IOs altogether. When you have C2 between one and three, and when we execute the query, there will be two IOs at the non-clustered index level and three times three, nine IOs at the clustered index level. So you will have 11 IOs. If you have C2 between 1 and 10, now you will see there will be 32 IOs. 30 IOs, that is 3 times 10 at the clustered index level and 2 IOs at the non-clustered index level. Let's look at the cost. When you execute with C2 between 1 and 1 and you move the cursor on top of the select statement, there you see the cost is 0 0.006. When you have C2 between 1 and 2, the cost will slightly increase. Now, if you look at it, the cost is 0 0.008, not 0 0.006. And when you say 3, the cost will increase further. Now, the cost is 0 0.01. As there are more lookups to do, the cost, that is the estimated cost, gradually increases. Let's look at the cost for 100. C1, sorry, C2 between 1 and 100. The cost is 0 0.325. Let's look at the cost for 1 and 200. The cost is not 0 0.325, it is 0 0.645. Not nearly double, but close to. So the cost is increasing as we have more lookups. Let's look at what is the amount of cost when we have C2 between 1 and 1000. The cost now is 2.99. And let's look at the amount of IOS. The amount of IOS are 3075. The reason is 3 times 1000, 3000 IOS at the clustered index level and few IOs at the non-cluster index level, the IOs are slightly higher because SQL Server is using prefetch. I will cover prefetch in a future video. But when you look at the cost, the cost is 2.99. When you execute C2 between 1 and 2000, there is a possibility the amount of IOs could be 2000 times 3, that is 6000 plus something. But when you look at the messages, the cost is 5,000, sorry, the amount of IVOs is 5,000. The reason is SQL Server chose to do a clustered index scan. It found out the index seek is too expensive compared to clustered index scan. When you look at C1, sorry, C2 between 1 and 3,000, when you look at the cost, the cost of this clustered index scan is 3.72824. In SQL Server, the cost of the cluster index scan in this case is fixed. If you change the predicate to C2 between 1 and 2000, the clustered index scan estimated cost will be the same, that is 3.72824. But if you force it to use an index for C2 between 1 and 2000 by giving an index hint, you will see the cost is much more than 3.7, it is 5.4. And this is the reason SQL Server does a clustered index scan instead of doing an index lookup. 
Now what we will do is we will plot the cost for index seek and table scan in the Excel sheet. What we will do, we will do a free proc cache. We will go to the SQL test tool. We will go to workload one. Here we are executing this select statement C2 between one and this placeholder SQL test underscore iteration for 2000 iterations. What SQL test tool will do is it will substitute one for the first iteration, two for the second iteration. So we will have 20,000 executions every time the C2 will change from uh, between one and one until one and 2000. If you want to know more information about this placeholder, you can press F1. There you will see information about these placeholders. SQL test iteration substitutes iteration number. Now let's start this workload. This workload is executing the statement, substituting different set of predicates. Let's wait for 2000 executions. And let's go to the management studio and let's execute this query. This query basically gives us a value that is C2 between one and the value and the cost. Let's execute this query. There you see it gives us the C2, that is uh, C2 between one and whatever it is, and the statement cost. Let's take this and paste this in Excel. And let's insert a chart. There you see SQL Server used index seek. The cost was gradually increasing and it switched to table scan once the cost of the index seek crossed the cost of clustered index scan. What we will also do is execute the next workload. In this workload, we force the index seek with the same SQL test iteration based execution. Let's go to our management studio window. Let's do a free proc cache. Let's start current. Now we will see the cost of these queries with index seek. Let's wait for 2000 iterations. Now let's go to management studio. Now let's extract the value and the cost and we will paste it in Excel. So when we force SQL Server to do an index seek, SQL Server shows the estimated cost, which goes in this case beyond five. Since the clustered index scan has a fixed cost of 3.7, after some limit, SQL Server switches to clustered index scan. Let's go to sheet one. Here you see Round about 1200 SQL Server changes to use a clustered index seek, sorry, clustered index scan instead of a index seek. Let's go to this tipping point 1200 something. There you see SQL Server is using clustered index scan. We can tell that by the cost 3.72824 up to 1282. And before that SQL Server is using an index seek. And we will take these values and there you see the cost of index seek in some cases is higher than the table or the clustered index scan cost. Let's go to a new sheet. Let's paste this. Let's insert a chart. There you see, even though the cluster index scan cost is cheaper, for some cases, 
SQL Server decided to choose index seek even though the cost is slightly higher than the cluster index scan interesting some developer in the SQL team decided to do an index seek to some extent even if the cost is slightly higher who doesn't like an index seek interesting now let's go to the next table tab 73 Let's see what is in this table. In this table, column C1 has values from 1 until 20,000. Column C2 has 1 for 19,900 times and 2 for 100 times. So when we execute this query where C2 equal to 1, SQL Server will do a clustered index scan because looking up 19,900 times is too expensive. So when we execute the query, you look at the execution plan, you see SQL Server is doing a clustered index scan. And the cost is 3.72824, again, similar to what we saw before. When you force the index seek, the cost is quite high. There you see 18.6. So SQL Server, based on the cost, decided to choose clustered index scan. On the other hand, if you have C2 equal to 2, there are only under rows and SQL Server will decide to do an index seek. And if you see, the index seek cost is much cheaper than the table scan. Let's make a summary. When SQL Server has a choice of plans, it will compare cost between a set of execution plans and will choose the cheapest one. SQL Server may not evaluate all possible plans. There are various stages of optimization and SQL Server will evaluate a subset of plans in these stages. I will try to cover optimization and compilation costs in future videos. Thanks for watching. If you have suggestions or comments, send them to me by email. Bye.